transport networks, power networks, and the internet. The need to optimize these very complex networks is increasing. These tasks require us to solve combinatorial optimization problems. In solving a combinatorial optimization problem, we need to find the best among all possible combinations. Such a problem requires huge amounts of computation and takes a long time on ordinary computers. At NTT Basic Research Laboratories, we have created a computer based on new principles, which is able to solve combinatorial optimization problems in an instant. Our computer consists of an optical fiber of one kilometer long and several other devices. This is the computer, called a quantum neural network. Its basic structure is simple. There are just three main components, an optical fiber loop, a special optical amplifier called a PSA, and an electronic circuit called an FPGA. The PSA receives pump light and uses its energy to amplify light. Only light whose wavelength is twice the wavelength of the pump light is amplified here. The PSA most efficiently amplifies lights with phases zero or pi relative to the pump phase. Here, we refer to the light with the same phase as zero and the phase shifted light as pi. Now, we get to the main point. With this system, pulses of pump light are input into the PSA. The PSA then outputs noise optical pulses, varying randomly in phase from 0 to 2 pi. We intentionally start with random phases. Using the measurement result of optical pulses, the FPGA creates a new pulse according to a theoretical model called the Ising model and superimposes it on the original light pulse. As a result, the pulses affect each other to have either the same phase or the opposite phase. The FPGA repeats this process each time the light pulse circles the loop. As a result, due to the effects of the PSA, each pulse gradually approaches either zero or pi. When it is determined to be either zero or pi, we have the computation result. It may be hard for most people to interpret this as the computation result. Let us look at how this system can easily solve one type of combinatorial optimization problem. The max cut problem. Consider the case of dividing people into two groups. The max cut problem is to avoid placing people who do not get along into the same group as much as possible. If the number of people is only four or five, we can do it ourselves easily. However, as the number of people increases, the number of incompatible combinations of people increases explosively. So dividing them into compatible groups requires a huge amount of computation. We will use the quantum neural network to solve a huge example with 2,000 people and 20,000 incompatible combinations. We represent each person with a light pulse and the two groups as zero and pi. Then we enter the incompatible relationships into the FPGA and begin the computation. 
It's already done. The time to complete the computation was only five thousandths of a second, a surprising speed. This is a visualization of the computation process. The points are people. Lines that turn green indicate that two incompatible persons were separated into different groups. The quantum neural network compares the huge number of combinations all at once and determines the grouping in just an instant. A quantum neural network can solve the social problems introduced at the beginning and also shows its strength for problems such as developing pharmaceuticals and image analysis. The quantum neural network for solving intractable problems using light. A computer based on new principles and a technology produced at NTT to support optical communication.